One of the most iconic viewpoints in the world is here at Victoria Harbour and we've made our way up to take it in in all of its glory here for Behind the Visor Mobile with Envision Virgin Racing. I've got Sam Bird and Robin Franks and we are, I promise, on top of the Victoria Harbour viewpoint. It's cool, isn't it? That's a great view. <laughs> Correct. We're answering your questions. That's what we're doing up here. So let's go straight on because then we can leave. Uh, this is from... <laughs> This is from so, so something on Twitter to Sam. You've got your home race back for next season following this week's London announcement. How excited are you and what can the fans expect? You've been there as well, haven't you? Yeah, I was there the other day, actually, sort of doing a little promo for it, but no, really excited. It's great to give the UK fans something to look forward to. Uh, we had such a big following when we were there in season one and season two. And, oh, look, look, turn the camera oh, quick. Oh, oh. If we, man. quick, wow. there we go. That is the view we've been looking for. Yeah. Anyway, what was I talking about? London, um, right. Yeah. yeah, season one, season two, there were already so many people there in Battersea Park. So I expect this new venue and this uh, in season five to be a massive success. What do you think about rallying? And have you considered taking part in one? I sure I was considering taking part one a few years ago. Uh, everything was done. I what do you mean everything was done? Like you like, like I had a car fixed. I had really? a, a co-pilot fix, and then the organisation didn't give me the license to drive a rally car because I said it's too dangerous. You're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> what, who, so who, <laughs> so who who wouldn't who wouldn't the, the the rally I was supposed to do was the Condors rally, which is quite uh, popular in a way that is it's a dangerous rally. I wanted to do it together with uh, Freddy Loix, which is a good oh, friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, he organized a car for me and a co-pilot. So, yeah. but then I didn't get a license. Oh, so, uh, that's but fun. that's seriously a thing I want to do. Okay. Me and you should do one together. Uh, yeah, who then would for drive, sure who we're would gonna be die. <laughs> I reckon. Let the, the drive with the talent do Oh, so oh I'll, I'll do the co I'll do the co-pilot, yeah. But Dakar, no. I'm not I'm not very good at left and right, though. <laughs> left and left. Left! Not, not like left. that! Oh, my God! Left! Left! Would you drive rally cars or not? I would love to. Yeah. Um, I did a day with the MSA. That I was part of a thing called MSA Elite Scheme back, back when I was, you know, young. Yeah. And um, one of the days was with a rally car uh, and yeah it's it's a different skill those guys yeah they earn their money yeah. sam there was an article this is from not yet not jess on youtube there was an article this week in the south china morning post about your intense fitness regime however how many cheat meals have you had this month too many really too many what yeah. did you have for breakfast just now i had a what's it called an omelette yeah. with onion, peppers and ham, yeah. two orange juices and a cappuccino. Oh, okay. What so did you have too bad. Omelette, ham, cheese. Pancakes. I, I wasn't Robin, finished yet. Hang on, yeah. <laughs> Robin also had three pancakes with chocolate sauce on them. Exactly, and two cappuccinos. And two cappuccinos. Oh, okay, so that's why you're buzzing and so full of life up here. It, it's difficult, Jack, when, uh, with all the traveling that we do, it's yeah. really difficult to be really strict. Like if I was at, <laughs> like, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I was at home, you can get onto a good two, three week regime, top, and you really see results. But when you've only got like two, three days at home, it's tough. It's really tough. Why are you laughing? The way you're like two, three week regime, you will see results. No, but you Sandberg will. Fitness school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like it. Uh, Be a new thing. A Meetskinson. The hardest thing about this is reading people's Twitter names. A Meetskin. Who is faster in a sprint running race? Me. Uh, it's yeah. very, very simple, that. Oh, really I would you. be Robin. Because Robin's actually got one leg. <laughs> <laughs> His other Here one is go. some, like, gammy, like, <laughs> screwed up it's thing. It's there, but it's it not just, doing anything. It, it's there for balance, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. Zanchua18 on YouTube. I'm going to Hong Kong in the coming weeks. Which places would you recommend I visit? Yeah, this, here, sure. Yeah, 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 it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah. It's clearing up again a little bit but still not enough for us to film facing that way, which obviously was the whole plan in us coming up here. Do you, I mean, do you like else? Hong Kong? Yeah, I like Hong Kong. I love it. Um, pits are a bit slippery. Now into the pits oh, goes Bird! No! And he's missed his way in! It's so slippery and dusty in there in the pit lane. No, it weren't for anyone say. else, but... Yeah, well, I need no one else pushing hard enough then. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a cool city, I've got to say. It is very, very cool. It's nice to walk around. There's, I think there's quite a lot to do. We go to some of these venues and, and events, and this is one where there is plenty on offer to do outside of the restaurant. From uh, not J X S S to Robin. Not J. So it's not J. Not. How would you say that? It's not. It's not. 
J X S S. So exactly how I said it. <laughs> this is to Robin. How many times do you press the snooze button in the morning? Oh, he's got a snooze button in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Good question, actually. Are I did, you a I snoozer or a... Oh, yeah. yeah, full on. Like, I would say four or five times. I did a mistake the other day when I came back from Mexico. Because, of course, I was jet like when I was back home. Yeah. And then... The first night was okay, I woke up at nine, and then the second night I was planning to do the same thing. So I put my alarm on at nine, I hit the snooze button when I woke up, and then apparently my phone turned off and I woke up at 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. Do you, what do you have as an alarm, by the way, on your phone? Just a normal alarm? I had a, a few uh, alarms before. When I, also, when I was young, I was struggling to wake up. So my dad, or no, my mom bought me an alarm, like a huge train, I need to catch the train. <laughs> So I need, I need to, I need you have to, to get stand up. up. To, yeah, I need to get up to get to the mine, train. Mine, <laughs> my alarm. Because I, I, I struggle because of jet lag sometimes. So I've got quite an aggressive alarm that I have to try and share with you guys. <laughs> That's... <laughs> goats, really? <laughs> So, and that's goats and fighting each other. That's that's just goats screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I Why? mean, if when you hear that, it you works. wake up. Yeah, yeah, you're going to wake up. Absolutely. No, I need a calm alarm, or else I will. Yeah, not but be that's in a good why mood. you sleep in till two thirty. So what? You just have like. like <laughs> it's like a, a slowly build up. <laughs> and Sam's got one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, if the bromance between Jev and Andre Lotterer is called Jandre. What is your bromance name? Bobbin. Uh, Bobbin? Um, Why no. Bobbin? Ram? Or Rat? Rat? No. That's back to your goats. On, we've got, we used to have a driver's group on WhatsApp. The picture yeah. was of a Robin, because obviously I'm Bird. Yeah, yeah, His yeah, name yeah, is yeah. So that, you know, Robin. Oh, right, okay. But in terms of a name between us, I don't know. You call it Binge, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, okay, binge. That's, <laughs> there we go, that's binge. Yeah. Uh, and th related to that, if you were to one day wake up to find you'd become Robin... I'd cry. Ooh. I'd jump off. <laughs> <up. laughs> I'd the... jump immediately. <laughs> what is the first thing you'd do? Sleep. First thing I'd do? Sleep. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, sleep. And what, if you were Sam, what would be the first thing uh, you'd do? Go to the gym and bench 200k. <laughs> 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 About the food last time from, uh, what, was, what was it again? Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, exactly. There's a Marks and Spencer's here, you know. You could go and get your edamame <laughs> bean thing. Yeah, I could. Well, that's poked you up. I could no, but also I need to. I need to. <laughs> really I did make. A, I made a mistake. It wasn't from Marks and Spencers. Oh no! Really? No, it was from Waitrose. I know. To all the listeners that, that were watching that, you I know do they're apologize. watching, right? It's like the I know, viewers. No, no, no. I, viewers. The viewers. Yeah. Sorry, listening, watching, yeah. same thing. Yeah. Well, you got the face for radio, so I'm used to yeah, it. That's fair enough. Do you like Marks and Spencers food still? Or no, not? no, no. I do. It's just slightly. F it's a bigger drive for me. It's another half a mile down the road. So. You know, the, the normal for us is Waitrose, but sometimes I'll treat myself. The best are the Marks and Spencer's grapes. And that's true. <laughs> Their grape selection is epic. So soon, along with Stanley and Gem Pat, I'm gonna have, you'll have, you'll have Marks Waitrose and or Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> Mate, that would be an epic sponsor. Yeah? Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Donate some money to me. Thank you very much for joining us here on Behind the Visor. We'll do another one in a suitably stunning location. Uh, next time, where's the next race? Sanya. Sanya. Oh, Sanya, yeah. yeah. Oh, course. Sanya. Yeah, we'll bring you stuff from Sanya. Then. <laughs>